So right now, the most wanted Mac that we want to see is the brand new MacBook Air with an M2 chipset inside it, and also the brand new Mac Mini with an M2 and the possibility of an M2 Pro chipset inside. And also at the same time, WWDC 2022 is coming. It is not that far away. But the thing is, what everyone wants to know is will we be seeing that brand new MacBook Air M2 and also that Mac Mini at the WWDC event happening? happening in early June time. Well today I want to discuss my thoughts around this if this is going to be a possibility if we're going to see this. To answer this question we need to know what WWDC is all about. WWDC stands for the Worldwide Developers Conference and literally this is what it's all about. It is for developers. The event is all about software and also enhancing developers with more APIs and abilities to do more bits and pieces to Apple devices via software. And this is what primarily the event is all about. So at WWDC we mainly see enhancements to the software to Apple devices that are already out there right now. So devices that you have brought in the last couple of years we're going to be getting those enhancements at WWDC and they'll be coming out later on in kind of full time or you might be able to sign up to the public beta to get some of those features a bit more earlier if you wanted to do so. But what are those software features? Well first of all we get a lot of updates to Apple's operating systems. So for example with iOS what is primarily used on the iPhone and also used on the iPod Touch for example we normally get some great new updates and this year we're expecting some new features all over again and we've been told so far we're going to be getting some updates to say the widgets mainly on the front kind of home screen and also we've been told that the settings might also get an overhaul the actual settings page something else that we're going to be getting updates to is ipad os so in the last couple of weeks there's been lots of renders floating around telling us that we're going to be getting an overhaul for iPad OS and this is definitely needed especially in the likes that we now have the iPad Pro with an M1 chipset inside it and also the iPad Air with an M1 chipset. The iPad Pro can go far further in its operating system and it needs to happen. So we've been shown kind of renders here as you can see that we're going to be getting kind of floating windows now and this looks really really cool. Something else that we've been told that's possibly going to be happening this year is we're going to be getting an overhaul to the likes of kind of the pro apps that Apple provide. I'm talking about Logic Pro, Final Cut Pro and also the possibility of the return of a photo editing pro application, a bit like what Apple used to do with Aperture and this will be compatible with the likes of an iPad Pro with an M1 chipset inside it or maybe one of the kind of iPad Pros with the A12X or the A12Z inside and there's also the possibility that these pro apps might also come along to the iPhone but we'll just have to wait and see. But if these apps did come along, it would completely change the nature of the meaning of Pro on an iPad and also any iPads that are really, really powerful enough to do kind of music, video or photo editing. So really, really excited if this does come along. And I think, to be honest, in my opinion, this will be the star of the show in software features. We're also expecting to get some new software features in macOS. And generally what normally happens is whatever kind of features are normally shown in iOS or iPadOS, normally these are brought to the new macOS. We're not quite sure what the new Mac OS is going to be called, apart from it will be named after a place in California, as this has been happening for the last 10 years or so. So we're expecting the same again this year. But one thing that might be happening is we might be getting some updates to Universal Control. Universal Control came out last year and it's been a fantastic kind of extra feature to have where you can kind of move files between say an iPad and Mac OS and it's really, really cool. You can even move your mouse across. It's a really, really cool feature. So some enhancements there would really, really benefit, I'm sure, Mac OS and iPad OS to make them link much more together, especially if they do have the ability to kind of link up say Final Cut Pro and say Logic Pro between the Mac version and also the iPad version. I think it'd be really, really cool if they could do something with universal control right there. I would absolutely love to see that. Other features as well, other changes and updates we're most likely to see is with the watch OS. We might get some new enhancements there, some new workouts and things like this. Also, we're going to probably get some updates to HomeKit and also we might be getting some updates to the HomePod and the HomePod Mini. And then finally, most likely, we're going to probably be getting some firmware updates, probably for the AirPods 3, maybe the AirPods Pro and maybe the AirPods Max, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one. 
There is also something else that Apple will not be doing at WWDC, but something that I'm doing right now on this channel, and that is a giveaway, and it is for this. This is a MacBook Air M1, and inside this has got 512 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 400,000 subscribers. And to be honest, it's not that far away now. And all I want to know from you guys to get your hands possibly on this MacBook Air, on this international giveaway, is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy in 2022 put it down in the comments below and also if you're not planning to buy any apple gear put down what other technology gear you're planning to buy in 2022 i would love to know so put it down in there and when we get over 400 1,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Air via a video. So if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on that video when I announce who the winner is of this MacBook Air that I've got right here. Now, just quickly, something else I want to mention, there are a lot of scammers, there are a lot of spammers out there, and they're really, really pushing hard now in putting a lot of comments on a lot of my videos, saying that you've won a prize, telegram them, WhatsApp them, all of this kind of nuisance and rubbish, it is not me. Please ignore them or please do report them because they're all spammers. You've heard it from me, I will only be announcing who the winner is when we get over 400,000 subscribers and that will be done via a video. Well guys, with that out of the way, let's now talk about the actual Macs that we could possibly see at WWDC 2022. Now, as I've already mentioned, WWDC is more about bringing new software features for developers and also OS upgrades to Apple devices that are already out there right now. But we do occasionally see a new Mac at WWDC. And primarily, those Macs are generally the Mac Pro. So way back in 2006, we got the new Mac Pro introduced and this all the way went up to 2012. And then 2013, we also got that new cylinder Mac Pro at WWDC. And then also in 2017, we also got the iMac Pro, what essentially at the time was going to replace the Mac Pro. And then people weren't too happy about that. So in 2019 at WWDC, Apple announced a brand new Mac Pro and that's the Mac Pro we still currently have right now. But that's one thing I want to talk about very quickly there. The Mac Pro is still running on an Intel chipset. And recently we did hear this at the peak event or the peak performance event. Making our transition nearly complete with just one more product to go, Mac Pro. But that is for another day. So to me, straight away, I'm thinking a new Mac Pro is coming at WWDC, or at least announced. You know, like I said, oh, in the past WWDC events, this is where the Mac Pro is normally announced, is at WWDC. So it makes sense for it to be announced again at WWDC. If it changed, that would be the first time in ever the Mac Pro's history for ever to do that. It's always been announced at WWDC. Now, the next thing I want to ask you guys is what other products do you think have been announced at WWDC in the last kind of 10 to 12 years. Have a think about it for a second. <laughs> so got any ideas how many it is? Well, I can tell you the answer is none. There have been no new Macs announced at WWDC, apart from the Mac Pro and also that iMac Pro that I also mentioned. It's only been these devices that have come out at WWDC. There's never been a MacBook, there's never been a iMac normal or even a Mac mini that has come out at WWDC. So most likely we are not going to see the new MacBook Air M2 or that Mac mini with an M2 or M2 Pro chipset inside it at least this summer, sadly. But to be deadly honest though, there have been a few rumors going around. For example, Mark Gurman has recently said that there's a likely possibility that we could see the new Mac Mini and also the MacBook Air, as you can see right here at WWDC. But personally, in my opinion, just like last year, we were told that we were probably gonna be getting the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros at WWDC, and it never ever happened. Well, to be honest, I don't think it's going to happen. If it was gonna happen, it was gonna happen last year, and then it would possibly happen this year. I don't think Apple are gonna make a big kind of event just for the MacBook Air at WWDC. They want to basically make a big thing of it, especially that we're expecting a new redesign on both the MacBook Air and also the Mac Mini, and they don't wanna take that kind of light away from WWDC with its software enhancements. So personally, I don't think it is coming at all. But to be deadly honest, I would love to be proved wrong. I 
would love to get my hands on the new MacBook Air M2 and also that new Mac Mini. And the sooner it comes out, the better in my opinion, because I'd love to see what it's capable of. Now, one thing I do think what might happen at WWDC is we might actually see Tim Cook possibly talking about the next generation. And that is talking about M2 chipsets itself. And that might possibly happen and say these are coming later on in the year. But what I don't think we'll see is an actual physical product for the consumer to get their hands on. Maybe there'll be a developer kit with M2, who knows? But personally, I don't think there'll be anything for the actual kind of public consumer to get their hands on in WWDC, apart from the brand new Mac Pro. But like I said, I would love to be proved wrong on this, and I would love to still get my hands on the MacBook Air and also the Mac Mini. Well, guys, on that note, it's time to wrap up this video. Are you disappointed to hear that news, or do you think it makes sense in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. And also at the same time, guys, if you really like this video, I'd really appreciate a like on this video as well. And also at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.